All chocolate is good chocolate, but one is about to be proven to be better than all the others. It's time to join Team Dark Chocolate. This Splatfest will be going on from Friday, February 10th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time through Sunday, February 12th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And it's up to you to select the best chocolate. Dark chocolate is so wonderful, you can drizzle it on your snacks and fruits for a not too unhealthy flavor boost. You can eat it straight from a freshly purchased bar. Consume those delicious semi-sweet chocolate chips right out of a bag instead of putting them in your cookies. The possibilities are endless. But Vic, you're on Team Sweet. That's what you're thinking, right? Well, spicy is pain. Sour is also pain. Dark chocolate is still a sweet, technically, and it tastes good to me. Do you think Pebbles would have a hard time choosing a team? She does have all three colors of the splat vest on her. <laughs> Here's the thing about dark chocolate. Because it's not too overwhelming, mind you, I love extremely sweet things, but I can eat more dark chocolate, so that's a win for me. I will be that person that goes to the store, like Trader Joe's, just to grab dark chocolates and leave. And a very me-specific win is that I get to be on another purple team again. No complaints here. <laughs> so, who do you reach out to when you want your friends to join the cause? To be honest, white chocolate tastes so much different from milk and dark chocolate to the point where white chocolate enjoyers might be the hardest to convert to your side. So engage with your friendly milk enjoyers as a priority. Don't be tempted by milk chocolate's ways. Sometimes, sometimes you just gotta... Having the highest amount of cacao means that dark chocolate is just better for you. And there's less sugar. Woohoo! Start there and see how much you can push the envelope. With how common milk chocolate is in candies, some of your friends might have just not had dark chocolate in a long time. So bring some with you when you're smooth talking your friends. A little gift goes a long way. But you still want to try and befriend those white chocolate players, right? Offer them the best of both worlds, a black and white cookie. There's a trick here though. The icing on these is usually made of chocolate and vanilla, not chocolate and white chocolate. So those notes of proper delicious chocolate might make a couple of white chocolate supporters switch sides. And hey, this is a chocolate splatfest. If we're gonna make a mess, might as well commit to it. Any dark chocolate stains on our clothes will be obvious, but it's because we're proud and hungry for good chocolate. If you need to find some teammates for this Splatfest, oh, trust me, they're out there. To get people to come out of their chocolate shell, just start spreading dark chocolates across the floor until someone else comes back to get them, ravenously. The more excited they are to eat the chocolates, the better they'll make his teammates. This Splatfest also marks the first time I get to be on Shiver's team. Whee! Ever since Splatoon 3 released officially, I've only been on Fry's team. And before that, I, I mean, I, I did get to be with Big Man for Scissors. So hopefully, uh, Big Man picks something next time so I can actually join him again. Yeah! By the time this fest is over, we'll only have just under three weeks until the new season hits for the spring. Make sure you use this chocolate Splatfest to get your catalog level up if you haven't finished it yet. The current 2022 chill season at the time of recording ends February 28th at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for listening, and I hope you have a lot of fun. And join Team Chocolate. And subscribe. Yeah! Thank you.